right, Christmas Eve, 2016. I'm down in Florida visiting my parents, and this is my dad. His name's John, and this is his model railroading hobby, and this is Johnstown. So we're gonna take you through a tour of Johnstown. So this is a bedroom in my dad's house, and he has made a model train layout. It's got two levels, and he's gonna walk you through it. But this is what the bedroom looks like. Welcome to Johnstown. Johnstown is an 8 foot by 12 foot HO scale model railroad that I have positioned 50 miles east of Hartford, Connecticut on the East Coast shoreline. The time frame for this railroad is during the late 50s to early 60s. Johnstown is not prototypical completely. I have taken some freedom in the design of the yard, although the railroad is prototypical in operation. The Johnstown Yard services interchange trains that travel from Maine to Miami, transfer trains that travel to facilities within the state but outside of Johnstown, and local trains that service local facilities. There is one steam and four diesel engines operating on this layout, which reflects that during the late 50s, steam engines were losing their position to first generation diesels. I run the entire railroad on NCE equipment. All engines are digital command control DCC equipped. The maximum radius for the layout is 22 inches. The minimum is 18. All track is the Atlas Code 83 silver nickel with brown ties, and the switches are also Atlas snap switches. The benchwork uses 2x4s for leg support with 3 quarter inch plywood shelving, with the track sitting on cork roadbed. The backdrops are masonite and have been painted to reflect the area. For operations, we use MicroMarks car cards. The cards do follow each car around the layout. There are approximately 13 facilities on this layout that require the railroad's services, which will keep any operator challenged during an operating session. I'm going to scan those facilities for you. Here's the United Petroleum facility with its refinery. There's the Waterford Stone and Gravel facility. Next to it is Tyson Foods, Camel Storage, and here's GI Sands. Next to Sands is the canning company. We have a machine shop. We have a power company, constantly in need of coal. We have an ice shop. Next to it we have a lumber supply. And of course we have the engine yard. We have a freight station. We have a public track that needs servicing. And we have a classification yard. The bench work used for Johnstown uh, was mostly two by fours and three quarter inch plywood. And I'm showing you now the second level, which is the lower level. And there's some of my artwork up on one eighth inch masonite board. And I'll go all around just to give you an idea of what it looks like before anything is done on the layout. And this is a work in progress, and this is as far as I've gotten on the second level, the lower level. Now I'm gonna start running the trains and allow you to hopefully enjoy what you're gonna see. And I appreciate you uh, 
taking time with me today.